Hi, everybody, and welcome to Drinking Buddies. I'm Phil from Beer Goals, and today my beer goal is to have a beer with my buddies. Cheers, everybody. I am so excited tonight because I have a super special guest. We have from the page Hops and Brews, John Schumann, everybody. Cheers, John. Hey, Good to see you, man. Cheers. And John is doing, I don't know if you guys have seen this, he's doing something called the Only Beer Diet. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, John, you can tell everybody about it, but this is something that the Palaner monks in the 17th century actually fasted for the 46 days of Lent. They ate no food, they only drank beer, and there's uh, uh, John here and like a group of people who are recreating this, they're doing it, only beer diet for uh, the next 40, 46 days of Lent, whenever that ends. And uh, all right, John, man, cheers and good luck with this insane beer goal. Very controversial beer goal. We're going to get into that. But just give us the basic overview, man. Like what, what is it? Why are you doing it? And why are you not eating? And I hope okay, you're okay. Please, all right. Please don't die while we're well, talking. Yeah. First off, I, I'm, I'm starving. So I would <laughs> like to have dinner. So I, I'm, I'm going to have a beer. And speaking all right. of the monk. This is the uh, beer that kept the monks alive. It is the Polliner Salvatore. It is a doppel. Wow. So that's the actual named after the monks in the 17th century who did this this fast. So it's, it was like a religious thing, right? It was like yeah. they actually was part yeah. of their religion. So the, the wow. Polliner monks have been brewing this beer uh, specifically for this, and the recipe has not changed. The brewery still exists. Obviously, you know, changed locations and everything like that, like a normal location could over the past three to 400 years. But yes, Might the recipe is still stay the same. Wow, that is crazy. Mm. So the first thing I think a lot of people, you've been posting this in a Beer Goals group on the Facebook. The first question that a lot of people have is, first of all, is this safe? Secondly, have you, did you like consult a doctor? Because this kind of reminds me of, I don't know if you remember, there was that uh, movie like years ago where the guy only ate McDonald's like super size. Yeah. You're, you're essentially doing super beer me. You're doing, <laughs> you're, you're the super beer me guy. I think it's like amazing, man. I'm, I'm like, that's incredible. But, but have you, did you consult anyone, a doctor, a physician, a vet, veterinarian, anybody? Uh, yeah. So I didn't, I didn't consult anyone. Uh, right away, uh, I did okay. afterwards, uh, but I did I did over almost two years of research on this wow. and what it would take. What does your body go through? I talked to like you were talking earlier. Uh, there's a small group that's kind of starting to grow, and people are you know posting on social media just with the internet now that are doing this. And so I got a, in touch with a lot of them and got a lot of knowledge from them and what it took them to get through and what the body happens and what you need to really go through. So right. it was something along that lines. And all of when they went to their doctors, all of them said, yeah, we don't recommend it, but it's fine to do. Just be safe. And right. Yeah. Right. So the, the big misconception, I think a lot of people are thinking, especially on the beer goals group is that I'm just an alcoholic and drinking all the time. <laughs> I'm not convinced I'm you're not, not, man. I'm not, me neither. Uh, <laughs> yeah. so, so here's my thing. Like, I have a beer goal, right? This is an amazing beer. I think you're doing an amazing beer goal. So my beer goal is to drink 50 beers in each state across America, 2,550 beers altogether. Now, I've, a couple times I've freaked myself out. Like, wow, maybe I should not do this. Like, I should cut back. <laughs> my doctor, my main physician, has said, I accidentally told her about uh, beer goals. He was like, no, you should not do that. Please stop <laughs> drinking. <laughs> I've talked to liver doctors. And they had like a different opinion. They were like, oh, man, like, you know, uh, there's nothing on the books and the medical books establishment saying like, oh, like, you know, there's a recommended uh, like amount of alcohol, but there's nothing like, you know, if you drink consistently. So I've gotten like a mixed bag of reviews. But this, what you're doing, I think the reason you've kind of seen some pushback is like people are I started thinking about it. I'm like, well, what's the big deal? And then I was like thinking about like, oh man, you're like not eating food. So you're fasting and then like using all this alcohol. So that's like, wow. I think that's the reason like a lot of folks are like, Jesus, dude. And I, yeah. and, I didn't, and I'm sorry, I didn't tell you this. I've been getting uh, through beer goals because you've been posting. Uh, thank you for all your great uh, beer posts. You've been posting to beer goals group uh, this past uh, week or two. 
So I've been getting messages where people are like, hey, man, you got a guy posting in your Facebook group who is like, this is dangerous. Like, you should not be promoting this. And I got to say, I do not take legal responsibility. We are not advocating that people do the beer goal or the, no. the beer uh, only diet. This is something, this is a personal decision that you have. And I think I just turned into Beer Joe Rogan. I, uh, uh, oh, yeah. Just, no, I, just different opinions, man. You just got to, like, you know, this is, we're just talking. Yeah. This is for you to decide. No, but, it, this, I'm not promoting this as a, a diet to go, oh, you want to lose 10, 20 pounds? Just drink beer. <laughs> I'm not doing that whatsoever um you know it's more of like we talked about it is for lent it's a religious thing i have just like you have a, a beer group i have a beer channel on youtube i hops and brews hops and brews yeah if you want to check that out um every year i do a month-long beer diet a themed diet so okay. i did i did a low-cal one year i did a na non-alcoholic beer to see what non-alcoholics can do and how you can get the best craft beer out of na beers wow uh, and then this year i said well i kind of want to do the opposite i want to see if beer can save my life that's amazing you know? beer can save my life that is beautiful man you know um, wow so that brings up another question and i, was, I forgive me if you already said it how much? How many pounds exactly have you lost since you started? So currently, I'm on day ten, and okay. I have lost ten pounds. So a pound well, a day. Pound a day. Because you're essentially. I mean, to be fair, you're essentially not. I mean, you're not. You are not eating. You're not. You're yeah. taking like half the calories. Have you actually tracked the calories? Because I know somebody who's done like weight loss programs. You know, get it off myself. Like I know, like one of the main components, if you're doing it correctly, you're doing it healthy, is basically just calorie counting. Like you should be you know, tracking your calories, like how much I'm yeah. taking. Everybody knows the daily allowance is what, like 2,000 pounds 2, 000, a day? Like what the minimum they suggest, yes. So are you must be just like cutting that in half, man. It must be just basically, like boom. Basically, yeah, I am technically keeping count. Uh, I am I am doing a review and I'm keeping a huge catalog. So I'm hoping toward the end of April, I'm going to release a, you know, all end review of my video with a lot of data as much as I can. I am taking photos daily, weight logs daily, wow. the beers I'm having daily. Um, by that, then I can track the calories that I've technically consumed. Um, but a rough estimate, yeah, is basically about a thousand calories a day. Thousand, yes, you're, you're half. Wow, that's yeah. that is well. Well, it sounds almost like you're like the NASA astronauts, like when they study their bodies when they come back from space. Like there was the twins. You're like a beer. You're a beer astronaut. You're like doing beer experiments on your body, man. This is amazing. <laughs> this is you're like okay, actually you're pure beer gold, man. Like I talk the oh, talk, yeah. you walk the walk, dude. Like uh, I'm not. I I would be way too scared to do what you're doing. That's oh, amazing. Which means like I said, you, it took years to 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 get the the cojones to do this. <laughs> wow, man. So you didn't see a doctor. So do you want? Do you mind if I play doctor with you? Wait, that's, you can that's, you can play doctor. <laughs> well, okay. So, how's, so, so it, it's a scary, scary kind of interesting story. Last night, um, my I was I was brushing my teeth, and my wife then looked at me. and was like, "Hey, why is your tongue weird?" And I looked at it, and it was it was this weird color, bright yellow, off, you know, looking horrible, like khaki yellow. I was like, "Oh my gosh, I have to look. What what is this going on?" And then I researched, oh, it's because I'm not eating food, and right. the food washes uh, away that coating on your tongue naturally. Oh, But wow. at the same time, if you don't, but at, you can be sickly, and your tongue can turn color. So right. like 50-50. Right. And then I just took the toothbrush, and Ugh. I scraped it away, and it was my coffee. The, so I'm, I'm allowed one cup of coffee every day. Okay. Oh, that was something somebody asked that earlier today. So you get coffee and you're drinking water, right? I am. Okay. Yeah. Everyone's thinking I'm not getting so. Just, just a preference. It's not just alcohol. I'm not having that. Okay. I'm still taking a daily vitamin. I'm still taking my body's regular amount of vitamins. So I have vitamin C. I have vitamin B12. I have my electrolytes. All that, but it's in a supplement form. It's not gotcha. via through food. Okay. Uh, I'm. Uh, so all of that. So you're my, cheating, John, is what you're saying. You're not just drinking beer. It, it's what I was a, promised. Beer I, only diet. I I'm not cheating because I'm not chewing it. All of my calories are <laughs> coming from it. Okay. All right. All right. I'll go with it, man. 
Here's my uh, thing. I will go with it because a I don't want harm to come to you. I'm very yeah. supportive of this beer goal, but at the same time, you got to be very careful and know what you're doing. Exactly. Don't just drink beer for 46 no. days. Man. 46 that brings up another days. question: Is everybody in your life? You said you're married, right? Is yeah. everybody your wife? Like everybody's okay with this, or was there some like? Hey, oh yeah, man. No, wife, wife, super supportive. Like I said, this is the third year of doing something odd like this. Wow. Um, it, it is. It's rough in the sense of like, oh, she misses. You know, like, oh, she she's not a beer drinker. She likes her wines and champagnes. Yeah, but yeah. At the end end of the day, she likes. Oh, let's have a a drink together. You know, during dinner and, and type of thing. And or I'll make dinner or sit down with her. I'm still making dinner, but yeah, yeah. the odd sensation of I don't have a plate in front of me, and right. I just have a bottle, a beer, you know. So a she's, beer. Got, and that brings up my other question. I was going to ask is: so your family is sitting there. Like, was there ever like a moment where you're like, "Oh man!" Like they're ordering pizza, you know? Like, hey, honey, like we're getting some cheeseburger, blah blah blah, and you're just like, "Cool, I just got my uh, my IPA." Oh it's a, my god. Uh, so it was like Goose day, Island, so it fine. was like day three or four. I can't quite remember the exact day, but my my nephew was over. My, so my nephew and son are the same age, so they played together a lot. And I came home from work, or I was coming home from work, and she texted me, "Hey, can you go pick up the kids some food? Uh, yeah. You know, the typical kid chicken nuggets and French fries." And <laughs> I went to McDonald's, picked that up, and they made the freshest French fries in the freshest chicken mcnuggets and they it's gave wafting. it to me in an open bag and it's just wafting in of like <laughs> i hate my wife for doing this to me so do like, i do i look like like in bugs bunny like when when elmer fudd or like what is wiley coyote sees like bugs bunny or whoever and it's like they poof turn into like a a succulent like roast ham is that what i look like right now oh. i mean more more than i normally do like a roast ham like <laughs> oh, I, I know. My big pink bloated head just turns into like a roast ham, and you're just like, oh, just like licking the screen. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, my kids are trying to. My my son and nephew are trying to break into my studio right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, Daddy's talking to strangers on the internet and drinking well, again. He's he's literally saying, I hear I hear dad. I hear dad. <laughs> no man, we'll get we'll get you, man. This no, this is it. This is therapy, man. This is what you need to get get you through uh your all beer diet. I just say if you guys are just joining us, uh I'm Phil from Beer Goals and I am talking to John from Hops and Brews, who's doing the only beer diet. He is drinking beer every day with no food for 46 days just like the Paul Anner monks did in the 17th century because why not man you're gonna lose weight why not right yeah why not but I want to bring know. this and I want to bring this up too which is super interesting if people don't know you like you're not the first person to do this crazy beer goal like this is this is there's some people some people have been doing this and even talk I'll see this one guy here uh Kimber, he is man commits to beer only fast for lunch loses 25 pounds uh, this is from 2019. I forgot his name here. Uh, Phil. He actually, oh, no, Phil. Uh, Saul. Saul, I think. Oh, you know this guy. Yeah, there's a whole yeah, community. Yeah. So, so him and I have been in contact for a while. And, yeah, he was – what's funny is he was the first one. He did it four years ago. Okay. Uh, and then I saw that article four years ago, and I thought, oh, this is an interesting story. Let me research it. Okay. Um, and I didn't have – I, at that time, owned a tap room. And gotcha, I was like, okay. oh, I'm beer oriented. That's cool. I want to hear this guy's story. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And then fast forward, I now have my my own beer channel and, and left the tap room aside. But then talked to him, I was like, oh, I have all these beer goals, you know, that I try to do throughout That's the month awesome. or the years. And yeah. I want to get in touch with this guy to get research from him and how did he did. You know, I want data. I want as much data as possible so I feel safe. Um, and then he reached back, like, "Hey, this is awesome. You're doing this. Let's let's you know, I'll you share your data. I'll share my experience. Let's keep going." And him and I have been talking almost daily of just like, "Hey, how are you feeling? Oh, it's cool. I feel like this. Oh, this. Right, right. You know, what what beers are you drinking today?" And so him and I have been talking, um, and so it, it feels like a good um, reference and expertise person to talk to. Okay, so That's there's there's people nice. that have done it come before you. And you're sort of kind of learning from them. You guys are like a community now. There's so there was a bar owner. You mentioned you used to own a tavern. There was a bar owner in Chicago. 
I think he's doing it as well, right? Have you talked to that guy? I tried. I reached out. So far, uh, Sal was the only one that uh, I got a hold of. Oh, okay. And so, yeah, I mean, but it's there's like a whole community. I think I've seen there's a couple of beer bloggers there, doing this. There, there's a couple of other people, and then there's a couple of other people that constantly claim, "Oh, I did this. I did this." And then when I ask them, it's and then I ask them, "Well, what they do? Well, let's just drink beer." It's like, well, that's not what that this doesn't is. help. That, yeah, yeah, that, that doesn't you can. help. You know, I, I'm not drinking like domestic. That is, here's the key though, as Awesome as this sounds, it's not I'm constantly drinking Bud Light, Bush Light, you know, Budweiser, anything. It's you have to drink higher grain bills. You have to drink higher calorie bill uh, yes. uh, beers um, <clears throat> to get that calorie count. So it, it's not that light beer domestic. And I don't want to offend anyone when I'm saying, but, the, you know, the, the no beer style, style. I, yeah, it, it, I, I don't want to. But it's like I'm not doing that. I'm not just drinking right light beer you have to have a strategic uh point of looking for calories like you're saying i'm calorie counting so then when i look in my fridge it's like okay i need a snack so <laughs> yeah. i can go for an ipa uh i need a meal right. i need to have a doppelbach or something grain heavy something heavy, calorie yeah. heavy yeah i had uh, a big stout uh for dinner yesterday uh, and then so, but that's like three to 400 calories. Okay. So, okay. That, so you get your works. calories in, you get something a little heavy. So this is interesting. So there's different styles that actually help you like, like make a meal. So back, I don't know if you saw back in November, we had a beer goal where we were going to recreate uh, a Thanksgiving meal, but only using beers that were the beer equivalent of each piece of a traditional oh. turkey dinner. So like a turkey beer, or like we had a, there was like a um, what do you call it? Not, uh, not stuffing the uh, the squash beer. Like oh, a, oh yam! It was a yam flavored yam beer, beer that I had. I sourced them from all over the country. It was kind of cool because I got to do my add to my fifty beers in fifty states. But then it was like part of the Thanksgiving beer goal, and there was like cranberry beer. All the pies were covered. There's all those oh, super awesome. craft beer. You know, I have like a list of pie beers, like blueberry pie beer. So my question is, have you tried yet, like, recreating, like, a meal? You know, like, you've got, like, oh, cheeseburger. I don't know what – they make everything with these crazy craft beers these days. So, like, oh, it's my cheeseburger beer, guys. And, like I, – I thought about that. I thought about that. So I've, I've had a brewery make a Thanksgiving themed where they made it, like, with stuffing and turkey flavor. I've had stuff like that where it's a that's meal. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, again, on my channel, I'll, I'll review standard beers, interesting beers. I've had weird flavor. Like it was like pickle punch, tequila, barrel aged beers. Um, very interesting things, but yeah, I have a couple of beers that I do have, but the issue is I'm trying to stay away from, uh, particular styles of beer right. just to stay closer to the original diet. Gotcha. Um, I, I know there's a couple of beers now that are uh, adjunct sugars and adjunct things, and they claim to be beer, which I have no problem them claiming oh, the to fruit, be beer. The fruit, the fruit beer, like the Drekkers, like so you're not doing any like Drecker or like four. Uh, I'll do. Four, I'll do their IPAs or their stout. Four fifty, right? Yeah, but I'm trying to stay away from um, milk sugar stuff, adjunct oh, puree okay. stuff. I'm trying to stick to if this ingredient was still around or available during the Bavarian monk time. Wow. Then it's fine. So IPAs, because technically hops were around. Right. Um, I, I do, again, I do allow barrels, this the barrel aged beers, because I just need the calorie count. And I have so much. Right, so, that's, but, so you're strict, man. You're, you have a strict monk beer diet. That's amazing. So not right, yeah, crazy, trying to keep the crazy, crazy, foofy craft beers, like, you know, fruit, where it's just like, you're basically eating like a chunk of fruit. Like, exactly. Know, yeah. I'm not having a smooth smoothie beer or something. <laughs> like that. Yeah. But that, that's what so I was going to ask, like, the higher the ABV. So, like, you're actually drinking. I saw, I think today you're doing, like, a 12 percenter. I did, like, a 12.4 percenter today, and it was a barrel-aged stout. But I just, I basically needed the calories, you know. So, it's for the, I'd be scared that you'd pass out, man. Like, please don't die on this life. No, no. Well, it's, okay. Uh, and then also, I'm drinking around four-plus liters a day of water. Okay. Uh, so, so I, I am extremely hydrated, well past beyond uh, a racehorse. <laughs> uh, it, you just have a, a catheter below the below the screen here. Just it like, is. A it, it, honestly, you want to admit it was like ten minutes before I went live. I was somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs>
So, well, so I love I love the idea that, that all these people have uh, have been trying it, and you guys are a community. So we've got like vegetarians, we've got fruitarians, even people who only eat fruit. Everybody knows there's like vegans. So there was a guy who actually said that he could only had to like breathe beer or be yeah, a breathe beer. He only <laughs> had to he only had to breathe air. And he would be, uh, he could live. It was oh, a I, I, Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw a guy like yeah, said something. There, like yeah, that. so there's a, it's like a whole thing. It's like a call for theories. I think you're becoming the world's first Berian man. Yeah, you're a beer, you are a Berian. Can we, can we <laughs> call you that? You're a Berian man. I'm a Berian. I'll take that. A Berian. You man. only I'll have beer. That I, that's, a, that's cheers to being a Berian man. But I think this could go. Well, I think a lot of people's concerns are. Is that this could go really bad in the wrong hands? Like some kids just could be like, "I'm gonna drink beer." Oh, so yeah, no. it could very much be a cult. And if so, I would join. I would join a beer cult with you, man. Let's <laughs> let's start a beer cult. If you're like the uh-huh. leader guy, here's the thing: all cult leaders they don't follow the rules, so we could like sneak some snacks on the side. We'll sneak you know some, I mean? Yeah, it won't be. You, hey, drink the Kool Aid. No, it's, hey, drink this Imperial IPA. Yeah, <laughs> drink this. In- <laughs> Imperial IPA just tastes like Kool Aid, man. It it's just fine, tastes though. like, yeah. Here's this jammy sour. It's like Kool Aid flavor. So drink that. <laughs> we'll be in the back with like a like a snack box, just like oh these idiots. But yeah, we'll have a whole beer cult going. Ah, uh, all oh, these fools who believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings up another thing. You got a lot of. Uh, so let's get into that a little bit. You got a lot of pushback online. Oh, uh, God, some folks lot. were very skeptical as soon as they saw like. You like you're like, hey, I'm drinking beer. And what was funny too is you were like super low key, like posting for like a week, and then you're like, hey man, can I include like the link to my beer blog? I'm like, yeah, of course. Like, go right ahead. And then as soon as as soon as you said did that, they're like, raw fake, he's doing it for life. I, I know, I know, like, right? Jesus. So what I what, and somebody said this to me recently, like I posted a picture like of like me with all my, my beers, like it was just like it was my birthday recently, so I had like all these flights. And I was really excited. Time. Thank you. So someone was like, are you doing that for, uh, are you, do you really drink all those beers or are you doing it just for show? And I like the idea that somebody's out there just buying beers for show. Like you just all show right. beers. Like I have money. Just go, yeah. You know what? Here's some show beers. Like, but I love that. <laughs> well, to, to be honest, I do have a double door industrial cooler in my garage full of beer yeah, so I'm yeah, kind of. It's all like wax, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, so anyway, so you can confirm, you can confirm it's not you are not part of the fake beer media. This is you have the fake beers media. You're you this is legit. You this, are is, this is doing this is legit. Zero zero food. That's it. I get I get beer, water, and some vitamins. That is all I'm having. Um I got I got uh, yeah, like I said, well, like you said, um, I was posting a little bit early on, but then then you and I kind of talked, and it's like, hey, can I ramp up? And you're like, yeah, go ahead, it's cool. Beautiful. And then I did that, yeah. and, and and then everyone just flooded me of like negativity. Although there was, to be honest, there's been actually more positivity. A lot of there's support. been way more positivity yes. than negativity. But I do love a good troll, and I love trolling back. Um, no, I love so, it, man. And, and all that does is causes more of more the More attention to the beer. So if you don't like exactly. what John's doing, shut up. <laughs> exactly. And, and, but they're always just like, this guy's, a, this guy's a, a fake and everything. But they're commenting every single post. And that's why they're getting all of my reposts. <laughs> I love it, man. Hey, man. It's like, what do I do? All right, hey. whatever. Why, so we support like, you, man. We totally no. support you. And I'm... I'm just drinking my 50 beers in each state. No one complains about that. But speaking of, uh, I didn't even have, oh, you show us what you're drinking. I got this uh, Alaska beer. Anchorage, yeah. Anchorage Brewing. This is the do its part, as in John's going to do his part when he drops dead from drinking nothing but beer. I love Anchorage. (laughs) Dude, look at this. The the bottle shop left a sticker on him. I'm so angry. Oh, yeah. Uh, Look at that. that. This is delicious, hazy. Look at that. I got my beer right here. Oh, man. Some, some of my most expensive beers come from Anchorage Brewing. Actually, I have. Are they expensive? I thought I was getting rid of this one. Was like eight. It was like eight bucks for this guy. Oh right no! Here. So I I have like some of their barrel aged stuff. It's it's amazing. If you could ever get it, but it's around a hundred dollars a bottle. Hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. They gotta they gotta ship it in one of those little planes down from Alaska. That's probably why. Yeah. Well, that that's basically because I'll I have a couple of 
uh, you know, online friends are like, oh, I live right next to the brewery. And they're like, oh, it's only 40 bucks. But it's like, okay, well, it's 25 bucks to ship it down. And then the company that distributes it's another 25 bucks. And it ends up being like 75 to to $100. But then I open it. I'm like, oh, this is so worth it. This is so worth it. <laughs> All right, I was gonna like go to the I was gonna go to the comments, but we're having usually I can show comments. I can't tonight for some reason, but uh, let's see. Uh, Antoinette says I got a Santa Fe, New Mexico seven K. Oh, I love that the Santa Fe Brewing is nice. amazing. Cheers for Santa Fe Brewing. Cheers. Yeah. All right. Um, very cool, man. So what? So getting back to the all beer diet. If you guys are just joining us, I'm Phil from Beer Goals. I'm here with John from Hops and Brews. Who's doing an all beer diet? This thing is crazy. All beer diet for Lent, and uh, I got—I gotta say, man. So I—I I I've never met you in person, but you know, I follow your posts. I've, I, we've talked a couple times on Drinking yep. Buddies here, and I gotta say, you do look a little different, man. People are concerned about like what's going on. There's definitely like you're a little, yeah, you know, it's like, whoa, man, like, were you sick? But sorry, if I didn't know, if I didn't know that you were doing this, I'd be like, oh, like maybe you had a cold or something. So is there anything else physically that's happening with the all beer diet? How's your stool? Is your okay. stool okay? <laughs> you had to go there. Okay, so so right now I, I'm in my what we talked earlier, if no one's out, I'm in my, my studio and I have lighting that is not complementary to my webcam. I have a professional camera, but for some reason I couldn't get it to work. And so it's not complimentary. I also am just pale skinned in general <laughs> um I, I i'm just a ghost you're up in oregon, you're up in oregon right? I Cheers spend to oregon, an amount of time in the sun and it's either i'm white or i'm burnt red that's that, <laughs> that's all i am uh, okay so, so you're naturally pale this i'm just naturally pale no, uh, all yeah, right. i will state though yeah like you said if you followed me for the past couple of months i i gained weight then like a lot of people do during the holiday season back in 2021 and i was like look i'm going to be probably yeah. doing this diet this all beer diet and the research i showed said i need to gain a little bit extra weight because i'm going to be losing a lot so i wow, just kept okay. gaining weight and so yeah i might have been a little bit like oh i'm this guy looks a little bit okay okay than normal. okay um, so the weight loss so it's it's a combination of you're naturally a pale dude and then also, yeah. and then also, you gained weight so you could lose weight. Okay, wow, you're, yeah. you're like a you're like an actor being committed to like a role. You're like, Christian oh Dan. yeah, no, I like with with my stuff. I get very serious. Uh, wow. You ask my wife; she that's the one thing my wife will get annoyed about me about of how serious I get about things. Even with like the non-alcoholic thing I did or uh, low calorie, she's like, just cheat. No one's gonna know. I was like, I'll I'll know. Well, uh, well, they I'll, think that you think, think you are anyway. So yeah, <laughs> it's like, it doesn't matter. I'll know, and I don't want to do That's that. That's right. So I know you'll know in here and in here. Exactly, so. and also with content within the future, I want to be able to reference back to be like, I can then place myself in that person's shoes. Right. And I know exactly right. how you're feeling. Um, but yeah, no, I feel extremely well. In fact, the funniest thing is really it took about. 48 eh, maybe a little bit beyond that to digest all of my food uh the third day was kind of rough because i think i took vitamins too early mm. um and so you just had an empty stomach with nothing in it so i felt sickly that day but after that uh it's kind of like a runner's high you just okay. as, soon as, you, as soon as you punch through that wall you're just skyrocketing wow. And I, yeah. I feel great. Uh, but as far as stool, uh, I don't have any. Wait, you don't poop at all? <laughs> it's like a liquid. <laughs> wow. Because I never thought about that. Because you're not oh, great. Because you're not eating food. There's no solid. Just, there's no poop. So, yeah, exactly. I would save so much time. Like, if, okay, now I'm considering doing the, I wasn't going to do it, but now I'm considering doing the all beer diet. Because you know how much time that would save me in my, in my life? Uh, look, look at me. It, it, look at me. Okay. I think we all know if you look at a guy that looks like me, you know that I poop a lot. So, it, it well, okay, you're going to poop probably twice as much. Uh, oh, okay. And, and it smells twice as much. Oh, you smell like a brewery? Like you go in the, in the oh, bathroom? Oh, no, after you? no. It smells, it smells more like a dairy. A dairy. Oh. <laughs> It's like here's all the remaining leftovers in your lower intestines that we're cleaning out. But that's the great thing is, is I'm getting cleaned out. The one struggle I have, the one, oh, the biggest hardest part I'm having right now is food. 
And uh, my sense of smell has increased probably like 20 fold. Everything I smell, food that I hate. I'm a very picky eater too. Yeah. But, um, like I won't, I won't, if something even touched my food that I don't like, I'm like, nope, send it back. Give it to me another one. I'm like that picky uh. to me there. Everything that I hate smells delicious because yeah. I want, I, I was like, I want to eat that. I want food. You're, you've become and, like a beer vampire. You're like, ah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a great way. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the horrible part is now I'm like, for some reason, watching YouTube food channels. No. And I'm just like, this is torture, but oh, I could taste it in my mouth. That's and sadistic. It, that's it kind is. of sadistic, dude. Like, you're, so you're, you're not eating food for 46 days, and you're only drinking beer, and you're watching food channels. Food, the, the Food Network, essentially. So it's, food, it's legit food porn, like everybody uses I, that expression. I, oh, exactly. Exactly. It's like, uh, who needs adult sites? I have I have the Food Network. <laughs> wow, Food Hub. Like, wow. That's crazy, man. Oh, all right. We got some uh, questions here. That I, I am impressed, man. Here we go. Um <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, let's see. Uh oh, I came in at the right. Oh, it's Brian. What's up, Brian? Cheers to Brian reading. I love you, buddy. LOL, I came in at the wrong time. Yeah, the poop conversation. <laughs> uh cheers, bud. Um alcohol oh and come on, alcoholic. No. No. Okay, okay. This is, not, this is about moderation. Moderation. Yeah. I'm drinking 50 beers in each day, 2,550 beers. He's drinking only beer for the next 46 days. Why would you say that we're alcoholics? Like, please. Why? Yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with what we're doing? We're about serious beer goals here. Yeah. No, again, so I, this is, this is roughly around one liter. I have about almost, no, this is almost, uh, almost two liters. I have a little over two of these a day. Hmm. Two, you see, so you have two, two things of water, two jugs of water, two liters two of water. Two jugs of water. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah, you got to clean yourself out, man. But sounds, I mean, so if you look up, are there any, like, actual, like, medical benefits to, uh, the actually, like, po legit positive for this? Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, no, there actually, there actually is, and this is just fasting in general. It's not just the beer right. aspect, but uh, if right. you do it properly in fasting in general, um, most fasting requires a lot of water, and that then cleans out your lower intestines, it cleans out your kidneys, it cleans out your liver. Um, the The interesting thing is, so you're, you're going to come, I'm, a person comes out of this technically healthier if they did it correctly. Right. Um, so and, that's and the stay, key. I just want to reiterate, we are not advocating everybody no. run out and do this. Please do not. Don't Beer just goals, Beer, Beer goals LLC is not responsible for the content of this program. Even though I'm, yeah, it doesn't make sense. But yeah, I'm just saying, don't go, don't go out and do this. We are not endorsing everyone going out and trying this. John is a professional uh, beer crazy person, <laughs> and he researched this a lot. So yeah, did. did my research. Uh, no, man, I, I'm for this. Is amazing. This is probably one of the the most extreme, uh, intense beer things. I've been doing beer goals for almost uh, three and a half, four years now. This is probably one of the craziest, uh, like pure beer things, like involving actually consuming beer as opposed to all the other weird stuff we do uh, that I've seen. So, man, so cheers to you, buddy. We get a cheers. Cheers to the all beer diet. Let's do that. Boom. Cheers to your dinner right there. Thank you. Well, I already finished. I'm on. I'm on my in betweens. Wait. That's so okay. So you have your meal. You have your, like your meal beer, and then you just like like have a normal. Like it's Friday night, so like typically. I'd be kicking back watching TV with a beer. Do you still do that, like after you have your meal? Okay, okay, and that's a that's I guess a, back to the comments. So I'm I'm not getting drunk. Getting drunk is so much easier right now. Um, and and feeling the beer, I feel every sugar gram, everything. It just courses through your veins of how much is going through. That's a very interesting thing about a fast is you take any little bit of fuel and you then start to feel it. Um, wow. So, so with the beer, once you're in like around where I'm at, day 10, right. um, I take a big imperial stout and I feel even a sip of it. And okay. yeah, I'll, I'll still do it, but it takes, it used to take me like 30 minutes to 45 minutes to take a big bomber of a imperial stout on a weeknight. Right. You know, like I'm going to relax. 
it's taking around an hour and a half now to wow, two hours okay. to drink it. Just and it's not because uh, I couldn't, but I also don't want to just be like, oh, I'm hammered and everything like that. Right. So, no, that's I'm, not I'm, what it's about. It's not well, what you, it's about. So I have so I have a question. So you're talking about like the feeling and like the physicality of it. So I've done some some weird beer goals where I'm like, oh, why am I doing this? Like I did one the other year where I you know, like there's those, I can't remember what the name of the glass is, but you probably, you probably would know. It's like this ball where the craft beer fish guys, have been, yeah. the fish bowl, yeah, they've been drinking like these yeah. balls of like beer. And so I thought it would be funny. Like, Oh, you guys are going to drink out of these like crazy ball glasses. Oh, like, yeah. I'm going to get a fish bowl. And like, I started drinking. Like, so I went over and I was like, filming it up, like, Oh, I started like drinking like the, I was like the good chug, like a fish bowl. Yeah, it was just like Bud Light because I didn't want to waste, it's like my prop beer. I didn't want to like exactly. waste money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like the good stuff. So I'm like, I'm chugging like a Bud Light. Like it was literally like an actual fishbowl and I really wanted to do it. And I was like halfway through it. And I'm like, Oh man, why did I do this? Cause you could like feel it going down. I could feel my body just going. Oh yeah. Like the drunk is like, boo, like, like literally no, like in real really time. Does. So my, so long story short, my question is, was there ever uh, a, a time when you were like, I'm going to quit. I can't do this. Like, you woke up and you were like, whoa, just like, was there ever like a moment where you're like, I'm not, I'm, I'm out. Oh no. So actually I, I've uh, prepped for this. So I've done intermittent fasting. I've done like, oh, I'm going to go two days or three days just like this, you know, a couple months back. So all of these side effects weren't a big shock to me. Um, so it, there was nothing that was like, oh, this is going to, you know, affect me so bad other than, oh, I really have to stick to a routine that my body says is good of like, okay, this is when I can take vitamins because if I deviate from that, my stomach then says I can't take it anymore. Gotcha, um, gotcha. And so, but if I stick to that regiment, I'm fantastic. And actually okay. I have never felt better as far as energy. I will say though, wow. I, I, I don't have, I have energy and I can do communicate and talk around, but I, I have physical things I have to do around the house of like, uh, last weekend I cut down a tree okay. uh, and that was like, okay, hang on. I don't have the calories to continue doing this and, or to feel safe with an elect or with a chainsaw and, and physical things. I had to just do this slower than normal. I had the energy to do it, but it was slower than normal. And it was so odd feeling. Uh, I had to trick my brain into saying, instead of eating food, I have to drink a beer yeah. to feel better. I <laughs> get like, like that on the weekend. Like I say, and like, I, I don't know, it's not like a diabetic thing or anything, but I always, I'm like, oh, my blood sugar is low. It only happens on the weekend. Like if I'm out doing something, again, look at me like if i move it all away from this computer like i'm like oh god so i get i get like starving like on the weekend like i have if i do any kind of physical activity i'm like i need a candy bar like raw so that would freak me out like if i was you and i knew i couldn't have food because the only way i can make myself feel better and get the blood sugar up i don't know is to yeah eat something and so but for, like the idea of like no you have to drink a beer i i would i don't i wouldn't be able to do the whole thing. It, it, there, there is a huge mental game that you have to play with yourself. Of like, no, 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 hang on, you know, just go lay on the couch, crack open a beer. It's like I, I don't want a beer. I'm not thirsty, and blah blah yeah. blah. You know, and you crack yeah. it open. You're like, you take a couple sips, and then you're like, five minutes. It's like, oh, I kind of feel pretty good. Wow. Oh, and then halfway through, I feel great. Okay, you know? so it's, you know, and I, I, and I, you're gonna hate me for saying this. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like those people who say, "Oh, you do the cure for hangovers. You gotta have another beer." <laughs> well, that, that's the, well, that's what I, you know, I think, and my brain's been said, "Don't do that." You know, yeah. don't have alcohol to make yourself feel better. But it's like, but I need calories, and this beer has calories, and that's what I'm needing for fuel to, for my body to feel better. And that's right. the thing I'm constantly forgetting. It's not alcohol or the pleasure of that alcohol can bring in moderation, um, but the calories that I need from this particular substance. So, it, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a weird it's a weird thing. Like even today, 
I was craving. Uh, I went to the tap room, like you said. I had like a twelve point four, and yeah. I had a stout. But I was, I was That's like, I want a, I want a barley wine. It's like I know barley wine is gonna have a lot of more malt consistency than anything. And I was like, oh, oh this tap room doesn't have a barley wine. You know, wow, so, so you're you're like really because you like know beer so well. You're like picking the beers that like you need for your body. Yeah. You know you know what it reminds me of. There's those people that are like body hacking. They're like, oh, yeah. there, there was that movement where there's like the people who like don't like food. They're like something, and they're like, I'm gonna like only drink this like milkshake once a day that has all the nutrients I need. I'm gonna save time like cooking. Did you ever read that? It was like a weird internet thing that went viral oh, a couple yeah, years ago. That one, yeah. No, it was like a whole thing. This guy's like, we're just going to sell this drink. It's for people who are super busy, like entrepreneurs. They don't have to waste time like cooking or eating or going out to eat. And it's like, that's like life, dude. That's like, that's like culture. That's like everything. Like, why would you do that to yourself? So anyway, so they're like, I'm just going to have like this like weird goo and drink it once a day. And so but but the way you're talking about this that's kind of the way they were like they knew all this stuff like they needed like they were body hacking and it was like you know increase your energy um we, we gotta start that beer cult man <laughs> 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 we gotta start the beer cult uh oh so wait uh, somebody said something i thought was funny right here uh peter says Oh my God, John Schubin reminds me of the Nutty Professor. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Oh, uh, the Nutty Beer Professor. There we go. You're okay. like you're 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 using your knowledge of beer to uh, become a next level human. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool, man. Well, thank you so much, dude. I it was a pleasure and amazing talking to you. I look forward to watching the rest of your journey. So you said you're on day ten. How many more days do you have? You have so. So 36, so 40, so what was it? 46, I have 36 well, days left. Um, 36 can, more days. 36 no more food. days. So over, Come on, over man. I'm going to order so, a pizza right now. I'm going to order a nice don't, don't, do, don't do that to, oh, I'm going to, oh, I'd screw you oh, I, Sorry, I, I, man. I'm sorry. You've been so nice. Uh, I'm so terrible. <laughs> All right. Uh, I won't do it. I, yeah, I won't, you know what? I thought about it for five seconds. I was like, I'm going to get a cheeseburger and fucking eat it in front of you. Uh, I would, oh. oh that would have oh, been so oh, terrible. Uh, anyway, all right. So, everybody, uh, this has been Drinking Buddies Live. Thank you so much to our guest tonight, Mr. John Schubin of Hops and Brews. Everybody go to on Facebook, Hops and Brews, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, follow him. You can follow his journey on the All Beard Diet. Uh, he's oh, got yeah. 36 more days, 46 days he's going to do. Drink nothing but beer, water, and coffee, and no food. Just drinking no beers food. as his meal. So, all right, that's it. One last cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Boom, everyone. sir, right there. Boom. Cheers. All right, good luck to you. Keep us posted how you right. do. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Cheers. Right.